bringing Christ to the nations and the nations to the church. Daily Devotions from Lutheran Hour Ministries. Saturday, September 18th. Gathering Together. Taken from a sermon by the Rev. Dr. Dale Meyer, Speaker Emeritus of the Lutheran Hour. Our text is Psalm 122, verse 1. I was glad when they said to me, Let us go to the house of the Lord. Dr. Meyer writes, When I go to church on Sunday, I'm reminded that I am one of those sinners for whom Christ died. He didn't die for the sins of the whole world except for me. When he endured the pains of Calvary's cross on Good Friday, he did it because I am a sinner. When my family gathers for worship, we are reminded of Christ's sacrifice. We also know that we are part of the death and burial of Christ that happened for us almost 2,000 years ago. In Romans 6, verse 5, it says, For if we have been united with him in a death like his, we shall certainly be united with him in a resurrection like his. This great promise gives us hope for life's many problems. Christ was buried and rose. By faith, you are united with Christ and you will rise too. In fact, your spiritual burial in him and the hope of glory, change your reaction to the daily problems you encounter. Colossians chapter 3 says, If then you have been raised with Christ, seek the things that are above, where Christ is, seated at the right hand of God. Set your minds on things that are above, not on things that are on earth, for you have died, and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ, who is your life, appears, then you also will appear with him in glory. You see, God wants you and your family to know peace. He wants you to enjoy the blessings of his forgiveness for the sins that have disrupted the peace of your home. He wants you to know that the hope of Christ's resurrection can bring hope into your family life right now. When we gather together to worship, we continue the celebration of Easter. But this joy isn't reserved for families only. It's for you, too. If you're a single parent, don't count yourself out of what I'm saying. If you're widowed or divorced, don't count yourself out. If you've never married, don't count yourself out. We sinners are all in this together. We want to see the relevance of faith for our daily lives. We hear the religious talk and we humbly ask, How does this apply to me? The answer is that the glory of Christ's resurrection is for us all. It continues in the message of forgiveness and hope we experience each time we gather together. The songwriter Christopher Wordsworth extolled the worship of the Lord's Day this way, O day of rest and gladness, O day of joy and light, O balm of care and sadness, most beautiful, most bright, on thee the high and lowly, before the eternal throne, sing holy, holy, holy to the great three in one. We pray, Heavenly Father, thank you for the privilege of gathering together to worship you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.